Haven School, he began um, experimenting with play-based learning pedagogy in around 2017. Um, we noticed that there are a number of children coming to school with diverse early childhood experiences. We are a large multicultural school um, and we wanted to be able to give the children the opportunity to play. Where I come from, play-based learning or while you're playing, you're learning is no such thing. Like I came from India and in India play means play and learning means learning. So there is no connection, play-based learning, no. But when I came here, I start um, the school, um, I joined the school and I was start working with the children, teachers. And then I learned about play-based learning. And then I realized how much uh, my children, my culture is missing those connections. Play-based learning is way, way bigger than just sitting in the class and learning, you know. So when ESOL children came to school, they start, it's a new entrant or year one. They came and then they start, you know, the first thing is playing. Playing with their peers, playing with the um, uh, instruments, tools. They start playing and then they look at uh, look their peers, their friends, and then they realize, Oh, okay, so this is we have to do. This is how we're going to connect. This is our liking uh, each other. We like the same game. And this is my friend. So when every morning when children came and we said after roll call, it's a play-based learning, children just ran to the classes because they know where they are connected, where is their equipment sitting for them and waiting for them to make that uh, play-based learning wonderful. We've discovered um, that we really wanted to allow children to have opportunities to have dramatic play, to be able to role play, to be able to be physical, to be able to strengthen their fine motor skills, core um, body strength, large gross motor skills. So our play-based learning, um, we try and set up to cater for all these different environments and we set up different provocations to interest children and lead children to come and play. The other thing that we were worried about is, okay, so we're taking our 45 minutes to an hour out of our day for of structured learning time for play. Is that going to affect the child's learning? It's made absolutely no difference. In fact, the children's learning has strengthened. In the sand pit, there's all sorts of construction goes on there. The language that's developed from all their play is so important. They set up a vet clinic and they were treating all their animals, so they're working through the things that are happening in their own lives through their play, so really valuable. At Fairhaven School we offer a transition to prog program called Fairhaven Fours. Um, this is where we offer four year olds 10 sessions to come along and um, to a classroom where they will meet with other children of a similar age. Um, they are with a new entrant teacher and I currently run those those sessions at the moment. They come along once a week um, for a block every Friday morning um, and it just gives them the opportunity to meet key staff, um, meet those key children that are going to start around the same time and build friendships. Um, they get to orientate the school, um, we take them on a tour around things like the toilets and the drinking fountains. Taking them down to see a kapahaka group or an Indian dance group in action is also another highlight and it's just all develops that sense of wow this is going to be my school and um, yeah, so by the time that they are due to start school, those first day anxieties um, have decreased. So families are invited to come and bring their preschooler in. Um, they're welcome to stay for as long as they want to. We also offer a van service that allows um, our families more freedom and that we can drop their child back to preschool. Um, and we're just trying to find ways of helping families attend our sessions. So in the first, uh, those first few sessions, we offer lots of cutting and pasting activities and we're really working on building those fine motor skills, which is what they'll do a lot of in their, in their juniors years of school. So I found with a, a lot of our anxious, shy children that when we're in a group setting, maybe a more structured, formal setting, that they find it, they don't talk as much. Um, but you'll see them out there playing with their friends, they're communicating a lot more, they're having a lot more conversations um, and building confidence in that way. And then eventually that translates into the classroom and into a more structured setting. So when parents came to me and they said, oh, what, they're going to play for one hour doing nothing? I said, no. 
if you sit with us if you stand with us you will realize how much these children going to learn in this play based learning time because they are just not playing they are connecting with the other children they are learning new languages they are learning the rules they are sharing their toys they are waiting for their turns patience and the main thing is the bonding i believe children are doing way better it's just not playing but it's like developing their mind their emotion their social their physical uh, emotions as well and when they go home parents came other day and they said oh my gosh our children are so happy because first day they said no my children is shy and after two weeks three weeks they said they just love it they just love it they have um been playing in the morning they've had all that court at all that rich discussion with their friends they come in they've got things to talk about they've got things to write about because they're writing about their experiences that they've had and our learning time is actually more focused because they've burnt off all that excited energy that they arrive at school with in the mornings mm -hmm.